work on some Final Fantasy 2. Uh, this is going to be Final Fantasy 2, the Pixel Remaster, part duh. I'm going to go turn on the ferret cam and get this uh, up and running. Um, I really don't know much about this game, and I'm struggling. So if you do know things, feel free to, feel free to help me out. Oh, wow. All right. FF2. All right, let's take a look at this. Oh, those misses were not good. There we go. Chung is swinging for the hills immediately. It's fine. It's fine. And for the Final Fantasy 15 fans, we'll definitely give it another shot. We'll do a... We'll have to do a no reset run... Um, Monday, probably. I think I leveled. All right. I am an experienced warrior. Ow. I have no idea what I'm doing. All I know is the encounter rate in this high is, or in this game is pretty high. Oh no. We got ambush. Man, if only my black mage had like actual spells. Staff and shield leveled up at least. Hey, it's Paul. Yeah, oh, it's super dope. Shout outs again to Square Enix for providing us with a key for this.
Yo, what's up, dogs? How are you, friend? Hopefully you're having a terrific, terrific night. <laughs> I can actually do that with almost all of my retro games because of the OSSC. We just trucking away here. I know I need to get Mithril to unlock the next thing. Sounds about right. Hey, a fire tome. I think she already knows fire. Yeah, unfortunately. Ah, uh, that's understandable. For me, it's like really good for certain things. Like for this, it adds a nice touch to it. Boss pickle. <laughs> I think I might start streaming like my Genshin stuff at the end of the night. They're doing the creator thing again. Snag myself like 500 primo dreams. Yeah, that's understandable. These graphics are rough dogs. See, I made a dog joke. Uh, I do have to go north. For real though, the encounter rate in this game is insanely high. That I have now. But, but I brought the toesies. Yeah, when you done. Yep. All right, well, I guess the physical assault won't work. I'm also poisoned. Yeah, I know, they being cranky. I mean, that's fine. Like, I don't mind speed running, stuff like that. But like, these are pretty gnarly. Like it's, it's aggressive amounts of encounters. See, I'm liking Chungus. Chungus hits hard. Chungus is a big-eared boy, let me tell you. Good. Atta boy. Yo, right, Maho? How you been, friend? You look at look at Chungus coming in there just fucking wailing away.
I'm just, look, I'm just hunting for this mithril and then I'm teleporting out of here. I've been having a fucking shitty month. I totally understand and commiserate. Uh, that's how I feel about it. Hopefully things get better for you. I'm hoping they do for me. Sorry, I forgot to actually turn off the PS5. Up, oh, I found the mithril. Yo, what is this music? Let's go. Ouch. Yo, protect five. Let's go. That did zero damage. Yeah, apparently. Why would I want to inflict amnesia on myself? Well, fire does damage. Yeah. That big ol' zero damage. That cure spell, whack. Ouch. Unfortunately, I do not think I can. I can now no longer do damage. I have no way to restore MP either.
I also haven't saved in a hot minute either. Come on, he's got to be close. Hey, there we go. Yo. All right, there's some damage. Missing with the axe, not a good one. I know, this is just absolutely incredible gameplay. Riveting, edge of your seat. Don't have uh, too much cure left in the stack either here. We're averaging like a smooth 10 damage per turn, so we'll get there eventually. Alright, how much more HP does this douche nozzle have? Is this one of those fights we're supposed to lose? Come on. What this is, is very unfortunate. <laughs> uh, all right, so who knows anything about this fight? Finally, wowzers. GG. That was incredibly tough. Finally, got my myth roll. Gonna see what other things we can find down here. Yo, Chungus hitting hard there.
Very nice turn through. You know what I should do? Just be smart and save. Yeah, I definitely have no idea how to beat them. It seemed like magic was working. I just didn't have a lot of it. And it looks like I maxed out my skills for now. Oh. Looks like we're stuck here. We'll see what happens. Worst case scenario, we just load. Wow, a whopping 24 damage. That'll do it. Only dropped 37 gil. Yo, a teleport tome? Let's go. Yeah. Very tough fight. We did it, though. So, what it looks like is I should just buy tomes and throw them. Bam bam I mean, you can. All right, so which tomes am I buying the next time I'm in town?
I think I'm going the right direction. Garlic? Yeah, it was garlic. Yay, we saved the town. Now I just need to remember to turn where to turn this quest in. Gotta go to Altair. That seems like it's really far away. My, uh, I don't even have, like, really, I don't even have that much gill either. It felt like we were grinding in there forever. We were, uh... Yeah, I don't understand how weapons work in this game yet either, to be honest. I'm still a pretty early game. Zero percent evasion.
thousand for an ether. Ugh. All right. So to get back to Altair, we gotta go all the way down there. Oh wait, no, we go to Poft and take the the ferry back. I forgot about the ferry. Can I steal all of Minwoo's equipment before we return him? the default font. They're working on fixing it. I fixed it. There is a fix you can do, but I just haven't done it with two or three yet. I did it with one, and it looks pretty darn nicely. It looks pretty darn nicely. It looks pretty darn nice. I just gotta find the blacksmith now. This is not where the blacksmith Nothing happens yet. Okay. Okay, so we have to take it to the town blacksmith. I figured it'd be in the castle, because I don't remember good. Oh yeah, this guy. Now I remember.
Yo, double shield. The meta. Double a shield. Okay, now what? Alright, looks like we need to beefy weefy up. Get Minwoo back and beefy weefied. I'm trying to remember where Bafsk is. I want to say it's somewhere to the west. I not sure, but I am gonna run to the bathroom really quick. I be right the bake you. Oh, what's up, Phil? How are you, friendo? And Boo Boo and Yolo, how is everybody? I just want to go to the bathroom real quick. What's up, Phosphor? Yo, and thank you for the biddy. Super appreciated. Holy shit. 
Yo, how is everybody today? I hope you're all having a terrific, terrific night and a terrific stream. <laughs> it's now mine. I, um, I'm just trying to figure out how to play Final Fantasy 2. It's, uh, it, it is a learning experience. Yeah, if y'all don't know Phil, make sure to give him some absolute love. Fabulous content creator. Ah, uh, you were working on three pixel remaster. I have to I have to finish that as well. <laughs> yeah, I am like trying my best to be good at this game, but I'm not. Yo, Dan's handing out some subs to Total Nonsense, Lipa, and other Keo. Super appreciated. Yeah, it's very it's very different. As someone that speedruns a lot of newer games, it's uh definitely different. Um we're like almost done with Final Fantasy 1, thankfully, and that was pretty straightforward. I'm still really struggling to learn the mechanics of this game. Like in all honesty. I also love other Keo. And then there's other Keo and other other Keo, and then there's the other, 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 other Keo. Yeah. So, the uh, this, I don't know if if you if you knew this, Phil, but the um, the scan lines in this game are actually built in. Yeah, I figured out that much. It's just very tough to be blasting magic all day with a mage. Ugh. So, I actually use some upscaling tech. Um, like, if I play retro games, uh, I run most of my stuff through an OSSC, which uh, is a fabulous, fabulous piece of technology that actually can add scan lines to retro upscaled video games. They don't have it on the iPad? Boo. Yeah, so I gotta, I gotta start blasting magic. So I think I'm gonna have to grind a little bit. Yeah, well, we'll take the time to grind at some point. Ah, I believe I've found the Dreadnought. Ugh. One thing I have noticed, though, is this game is a bit stingy on Gil. At least compared to FF1. Yeah, I actually leveled up my magic during the... whatever I fought in... Oh, this is a whole town now? Oh, what? Darn. These dudes jumped me the last time I was here. I accidentally wandered in here a little early. Yeah, the encounter rate's really high there and generally can get like more than one spawn. My little baby thunders. I did figure out as well that throwing uh, throwing tomes, if you have spares, pretty uh, pretty effective, uh, pretty effective damage deals there. I'll just heal her at the end. I do also really like auto battle for stuff like this. I can take my hands off the controls for a little bit.
Hey, there we go. We got it. <laughs> I am good on subs, Dan. I, uh, I am still hoping that Twitch makes good on their end and does something to help out content creators because it's ridiculous. Like, literally, I have more stuff banned and blocked and lightened, like, tightened down because of bots than anything else. And it's just, it's straight silly. We had curry tonight. Curry is delicious. Oh, I should probably swap over to Blizzard. Yeah, I, I gotta, I really gotta give it to him. The reorchestration of this music has been absolutely stellar. I have no complaints with it. It just, it just be out there sounding good. Hoping we can get another big encounter here. Yeah, I would love it if they did hoo hoo. Uh, I would love to see Twitch actually start to pretend to care. My boy Chungus does big physical damage. That's why we call him the Chungus. I, uh, I am, however, excited. I, I think the biggest thing that we'll see as like a direct impact of Nobu Amatsu stepping back is I think there's going to be a lot more creativity within the series. Like, I'm not saying it's old, it's stale or anything, but music is a huge, huge part of Square Enix. Like, they've, they've hung on to like the same two or three composers for what? Like 30, almost, you know, like 40 years at this point between Yoko Shimomura and Nobu Amatsu. And it's really good to see them implementing people like Sulkin and just giving a bunch of new people chances with stuff. Um, Hitoshi Sakamoto with Final Fantasy XII. I forget who did... Forget who did... Did thirteen. But it's always good to have, like, those absolute veteran composers around overseeing the stuff absolutely like that the amount of experience that nobu amatsu has that yoko shimomura has definitely is just a wealth of of information there has got to be absolutely tremendous masashi Hama hamauzu i couldn't remember that one for whatever reason dumb streamer dumb <laughs> Ah, Unlimited Saga. Okay. Trust me, whenever I get the chance to spout the virtues of uh, Yoko Shimomura, I will. I, I think probably one of the strongest composition careers when it comes to music. Street Fighter, Super Mario RPG, the entire Kingdom Hearts series, and then Final Fantasy XV. Name someone besides Nobu Umatsu that has a more, like, ridiculously awesome list of games under their belts. There, there's really only, like, one or two people I can think of. Koji Kondo, and the other one was probably Shoji Magoro of the uh, Persona and SMT series. Or no, I think he only does Persona. But like still, to be able to like put together all those like... Persona 5 is ridiculous. Heichio Kabe? Oh, I think incredible, but... more. I wouldn't call it like the most like prestigious or well-known series. Remember, Nier is, Nier is still far and away very, very slept on.
Up, oh, ran her out of MP. Yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, undoubtedly so. Um, I think as the years go on, we will we will start to see more of a name following people like Shoji Magoro and um, uh, Keiichi Okabe, because those two are not going anywhere anytime fast. And if anything, Keiichi Okabe, with, especially with his Monaka branch, have just really started to get their fingers into a lot of stuff. Um, I don't know if anyone here has had a chance or desire to play the uh, near the near mobile game, near reincarnation, but Keiichi Okabe is in on that too, and even on a even on a phone, the 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 audio and just the stellar. Yeah, yeah, Yoko Shimomura. We mentioned we mentioned her. I'm a I'm a Yoko Shimomura fan. Other Kyo is also a huge Yoko Shimomura fan. I'm trying to remember who did Chrono Cross. That's what I'm saying. It's it's tough not to love her. Mm hmm. Yeah, Matsume. I often forget about her because I. I don't I don't play many Mega Man games. 2D platformers are my very obvious weak point. Was it Mitsuda? Yasunori Mitsuda. Uh, I, uh, I don't, I, it's very tough for me to pick a favorite soundtrack, like, of a video game. Like, Nier Automata and Nier Reincarnation are up on the list. FF6 is up there. Um, 15's pretty good, but, like, it's very tough to compare, like, modern games to games from even five, ten years ago. Xenosaga series? So, here's my big beef with the Xenosaga series. The music is incredible, but it's only ever in cutscenes. Especially with 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 Xenosaga One, which is a shame. I would love to to improve my time on that speed run because like I, I'm a huge fan of the game. I cannot stop falling asleep in the middle of it. No matter what I do, I can't stay awake. I sit here, I get three hours in, and I nod off. And like I run 14, 15, 16 hour speed runs. I do 20 hour streams on Saturdays, and I just. I cannot stay awake because the entire game, except the last dungeon and the cutscenes that we skip, is just the sound of Xion's footsteps, which makes it incredibly difficult. Just kind of sitting here in silence. I could, but you're assuming that I'm smart, and I am not. I'm just a cat boy on the internet that plays video games. Fairly fast, I guess. What? My wife over here is laughing at me. Yo, that is mad late, hoo hoo. Get yourself some rest. Thank you for coming in on the raid. And big ups for supporting our friend Phil. Yeah, I'm in a cave now. Well, to be fair, it looks like the cave is flooded, so it must be downtown Maniunk right now. 
Uh, for those of you in the news know, uh, my area of the country got hit pretty hard with the remnants of Hurricane Ida yesterday. And uh, let, me, let me see if I can pull up a picture. Let's, uh, let me see if I can get some good visual representation here. So this is the one I've been showing. Hold on. Let me here. I'll, I'll just do it this way. So ironically, yesterday I was in Maniunk with my wife helping my friend move. And uh, we were actually on this street. This is what it looked like last night. Yo, take care, Phil. Yeah, that's Maine right there. It's three, three three and a half feet of water. Yeah, we're totally fine. Totally fine, totally safe. Everything being taken care of here. Yeah, it got it got gnarly. Oh, yeah, here's a good representation. So this is the bridge. Uh, you get off 76, which is the main highway that goes into Philadelphia. And uh, this is the bridge you take over to get into Maniunk. This is the Schuylkill. It's very shallow at this point. I'd say maybe, probably at its maximum depth in the center, maybe 10 feet deep. Uh, here's what it looked like this afternoon. <laughs> this is what it looked like this morning. It's not great. Uh, there was a great comment on this one. Yeah, here it is. Those cars are showing a lot of faith in the structural integrity of that bridge. Anyway, that, that stuff always makes me giggle, especially because it's also an infrastructure joke about America. Womp womp. Anywho. Let's see what we got going on here in this cave system. Hey, nice. I have like three of those. Yeah, okay. I heard I heard some people in Brook Brooklyn having a rough time. Especially like if they got them basement apartments. Bruh. Or was it Queens? Yeah, Queens. No, Brooklyn. I think Brooklyn had a lot of flooding. It's very tough for me to remember like topographically. Like I know roughly where most of the boroughs are at but like topographically like new york city's big but the entire city feels flat to me so like like with philly we got we got hills and shit everywhere it's very easy to see as you're going up and down like elevation wise yep brooklyn next to queens It, it's yeah like it's it's gnarly and it happens so fast like you always joke like and shelby and i do it all the time like you know it starts raining out and like you get the emergency alert like oh flash flood warning like oh yeah okay got it like well, all right and then the times when it actually does and you know a foot a foot deep creek immediately start swallowing up two and three lane roads that are you know you know six or seven feet up an embankment you know it's uh very dangerous it rained hard we also had i think like six or seven tornadoes in the area as well which is very uncommon but we've had three rounds of tornadoes um this this season so far I live in Pennsylvania. We don't get tornadoes. What do we do this year? Anyway, it is super nice having a map here. I am not gonna lie. Also, since when did she get 66 MP, girl? <laughs> yeah, well, unfortunately on the Venn diagram, Alec, I'm at the part where still having to go to work and surviving the apocalypse meet and i didn't sign up for this bullshit 
I was ready for Mad Max. I have my gun and my motorcycle. And I get to use neither of them. I got to take the motorcycle in to get serviced this weekend. So I'm going to be all sorts of cranky pants. I, um... I got to get some work done to the bike, and because it needs to have work done, I may as well have them install the modifications that I've been hoarding for a while. Uh, it, it'll probably be gone for like a week, week and a half, but I have deduced that I can fix my headlight issue by myself, so no biggie. Yeah, da I didn't think it would grow that quickly, though. That's kind of hilarious. Damn, she's starting to do damage too. Girl, let's go. I get mad hype about it. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, this dude seems like a dork. He, did he just threaten us and then turn around and leave? Yeah, that too. Are they gonna, they're gonna take off in the dreadnought. Darn it. Darn it. Oh, if I would have known that. I would have been using my magic the whole time. I also like that I don't have to mash through results screens. Just hold it. I found a pass. Nice. I don't know what it does, but I have a pass now. Go me. Step on the gas, gas, gas. I mean, I'm not driving, but we can definitely talk about it. Yes, you did. Ah, uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Nice little, nice little nappy poo there. May as well restore the MP. I'm guessing we're going to have to track this guy down. Oops, that is not the direction I wanted to go. I should talk to Sid. Sid's all the way up in the frozen place, yeah? Wow, that two-step encounter. I think that's my only complaint, but I know like most retro video games are like that, but the, the encounter rate is obscenely high in this game. I mean, to be fair, though, it probably does need to be a bit above average due to the fact that you, it's the only way you can level up. See, the last time I talked to Sid, he was up in Salamand, I think. Maybe? I might be losing it. 
Yeah, it's very, very different, Mithril. I mean, I'm not complaining about it. I've played some strange games in my time, but... Is it Poft? It might be Poft. I'll check Poft. Poft is down here. Yo, Brett, thank you for the biddies, homie. Uh, this is actually the PC version. Uh, Shoutouts to Square Enix, who are super cool and gave us copies of 1, 2, and 3 of the Pixel remaster. What version of the yeah. Yeah. You sure it's not the other town? Uh, Oram? Yo, have a great night, Akai. Thanks for hanging out with us, dude. Am I doing that thing where I walk right past... Oh, bar, idiot. No, I'm just an idiot. Learn about... No, I, I want to ask Rednot. Okay, so we want to blow up the engine. All right, so I have that pass. I don't know what the pass does. Man, I can't even raid the liquor cabinets. Okay, so he mentioned Sunfire. Uh, okay. Really? All right, game. Game out here doing me dirty. Oh yeah, I've been trying to. Oh, they got bombed out here, too. I don't think I'm going to make it, they say as they wander around the town. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of the fact that I can just kind of save wherever and it's like not a big deal.
Yo, have a good night, Sim. Thanks for hanging out with us. Make sure you and Brendan get some rest. And thanks for spending time with us. Yeah. We'll do this for like another 30, 40 minutes, I think. And then I'm going to knock out my Genshin stuff and we'll call it a night. I got a, I got a long rest of the week. I can't tell you. Nice. Whopping six damage will get us there. Oh, Altair got bombed too. Man, everybody got bombed. Gee golly willikers. I am going to grab myself a very, very, very quick snack. It is time for my favorite snack, chips and salsa. Go. All right. All right. So I have a, a feeling help, it'll help if I go back and talk to the princess lady. That's how much I paid attention to the story. Yes, the princess lady. You know, I'm accurate with my descriptions. I always get the buildings in these towns confused, too. All right, well, they said Sunfire. I'll be eating Cliff Bars at 1130. The next thing I'm going to do is just reload this save and then steal all of Minwoo's equipment before he leaves. Because you're leaving the party, you leave your equipment. you still hanging around hi my name is Kios. i um i generally do speed runs uh mainly of arpgs and action games so you will see a lot of final fantasy 12 tza final fantasy 15 uh occasionally games like near automata uh, parasite eve 
Let's do some Devil May Cry. Um, but to be honest, I love long, lengthy RPGs. I love them a lot. They're my favorite. Blah, 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 blah. See you, Minwoo. Min Dang, shame we lost. Obviously a very overpowered healer. Nothing happens. Yep, I just oversaved it. Nah, I unequipped all of his stuff. I, I took all of it. Wait. I just had an even like more ginormous idea. Can I unequip all of his magic too? Like, is that a thing I can make him do? Nope. Oh boy. There we go. Oh boy, wow, that... I'd figure if you make people forget it would turn it into a tome, but that would be kind of silly. All right, but yeah, I, uh, I de-equipped him. I actually de-equipped him earlier and shuffled some of his equipment onto my other characters. No, I think it picked up something as a link. Because of the hate raids and like the stupid follower bots, I've just set it so that it scrubs links from the chat until like you, I think you've spent like four or five hours in the chat. Let me double check the settings on my bot really quick. Now, here's what it was. Yeah, no. <laughs> Twitch was having a moment. You posted that and it put cool.cause as a link. I'm sorry. There we go. 
Yeah, I've noticed that like the equipment in this game is at least I mean it's still early in the game, but it seems like it's really important. Yeah. I guess our next move would be to track down the airship. It's okay, Quaz. I took all of his goodies already. And I finally started leveling my black mage. Um, well, the entire country got bombed. Probably not too much. <laughs> Normally, I only grind when I run out of options. I've been to Salamand. Is that what I'm supposed to do next? Okay. Yeah, no, nah, I definitely understand that. Talk to Yosef. This dude's like the dude we thought fought in front of the mithril. Yeah, that makes sense. Taking the L. Yeah, I had no chance. <laughs> Sometimes it's worth a shot to dick around, though. I know that's part of the speed run strat.
Yeah, it's weird. Like, your health is... <laughs> like, your health gets better as you take more damage. It's weird. I, I should have actually started doing that. But congratulations on dying a lot. Here's more health. Definitely have not really seen a leveling system exactly like this before. Huh? Bruh. Wait, what? Is it like one inside the other? Like. Yes, another vagina. Oh. Oh. Seems like double the amount of work. Sidebar conversation about medical oddities between my wife and I. Oof. I only have Bazuna. Because the last time I used Azuna, it didn't do anything. So I guess this is Bazuna. Damn, that MP pool is growing pretty quickly. Young Chungus over there. Even occasionally raise the dead, huh? Next time I'm uh, in a, in the town that has it, I'll have to buy it. We'll be eating pizza at midnight. Yeah, that you are. You fucking cute as shit too. No shit. I assume like above 12 or 13. That looks like an actual bot. That was an actual bot.
Yeah, it makes it pretty easy, doesn't it? Oh, Yosef. All right, Quaz, I went and talked to Yosef, and he has nothing for me. Like, Sid mentioned Starfire or Sunfire. Did I need to do something specific when that came up? Oh, it didn't give it to me. Is there, like, a certain bus button I'm supposed to press when I see, like, red text? Cranky Noodle. Go back to Yosef. Bam, bam. More pizza. <laughs> Are Gordon and Hilda in Salamand? I'm a welder. <laughs> oh, they have actual poison now. Whoops. Okay, so go back to the first town.
Well, hey, this is a great way to level our durability up, too. Nice. Oh, wait. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Oh, we're still poisoned. Y'all got a Zuna? Y'all ain't got a Zuna. I know there's an Azuna tome somewhere. I done seen it. I just don't remember where I synced it. Wow, one stepper. Ah. Man, they really honest with the Hornets tonight. Excuse me. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yeah, right, Alonda? G Golly Willikas. Yeah, make sure you getting some fucking rest, brother. Cause Sean keep. Ugh. I'm a very tired boy these days. Okay, so where is Gordon now?
Yeah, I've been having to bust my balls at work too. I fucking hate it. I need a new job like yesterday. All right, so now we go to Sid. Now is the time in which we Sid. That MP's starting to get there. Yeah, right? You'd be surprised how many people still trying to polish Twitch's knob. Dang, we starting to pump out some damage. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea who Gordon is or where. Oh, Joseph joined the party. Hell yeah. So now we got to go to the mine. Joseph seems like a monk. Yeah, it's so weird not really having, like, a level system, per se.
All right, we'll work our way over to Summit Falls again. Wow, right out the gate. He punched hard. I think we have to go around for Summit Falls. Frankie Doodle Dandy. <laughs> Pull Kate. Andor Relahate. Good clear. Andor relax. Here I'll be able to get to uh, level two. Oh shit. Oh wait, no, nah, I can just wrap around this way, I think. -da 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 -da. I gotta tell you, this boy getting a bit tired. I think what I'll do is I'll try and get the snow craft and then we'll wind down with a little bit of Genshin. Andor, relax. Hey, cure level two. Andor, you're gonna be fine, buddy. Andor is now screaming at the door for whatever reason. It is at this point I would love to mention my cat's not the smartest. 22 intellect. Means we should be doing more damage. Punch an exploding bomb to death. Am I in the right spot, Quaz? Or Mithril?
Yeah, we're at Summit Falls. Correct. He told us... So I know about the goddess's bell and Joseph is in the party and he was like, hey, I got a snow craft. It's in the mines. I hid it there. Yeah, right. We'll, we'll get a run of 15 in Monday. Maybe. Yeah, we'll just go with Monday. Or Saturday. I think I have it on the docket for Saturday, too. Grind ourselves out a run. Twist them up. I don't get what his deal is. Stinky cat, stinky cat. Yeah, where's this damn snow crab? By the big blue ball? That pillar? Or down further? Okay. Andor, I can you just stop, bud? So you're gonna punch a hole in the wall? Aww. Yeah, hey, I got the snow craft. Let's get out of here. You know, nice agility. Chungus almost 500 HP already. Nice, Bubbers. Alright, we're running back to town. Call it a night.
Well, I still have to do my Genshin stuff, but we'll call it for Final Fantasy 2. May as well get my levels up. Halfway to level three with Kira already. All right, this looks like a great place to stop. So we have grabbed the snow craft. All right, cool stuff. So that has been part two of Final Fantasy II. A little bit of questing, a little bit of leveling, and uh, we'll be back with it next week. And, uh, oh, can't forget, shout outs to Square Enix for tossing us one, two, and three. Uh, so we'll be working through Final Fantasy III, I believe, tomorrow at some point. Maybe I'll try and knock out Dark Souls three as well.